And just like that, we're back again. Uncle Bull Cow in the building here. Sick as a dog. Um, whatever I had a couple weeks ago was nothing. It was mild, gone in a day or two. Compared to what is going on with me now. My throat is so sore. And for that, I, I got the perfect remedy. Look at that. In all its glory. You want a super hot, hot sauce when you're sick. It just... It burns your throat and, and, you know, you forget about the actual pain that's going on from the sickness and makes you sweat. And I don't know, man. I've just always craved spicy foods. However, last year when I got sick, my tolerance was extremely low. Well, this didn't, this sickness didn't show up until yesterday. But the day before, I was snacking on some seven pot snack mix that I, I made for my wife. And, uh. It, it was it lit me up to the point I didn't want to eat any more of it. Now, it's not challenge hot. It's a snack. With that being said, Uncle Bull Cow is here. Hey, guys, do me a favor right now. Smash that like button. Go ahead and do it. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Hit the bell, all notifications, stuff like that. Because otherwise, you know, the good chance you won't see my, my stuff. Anyway, so what do we got here? Reaper squeezins. Oh, yeah. Made with the world's hottest pepper player. But wait. I thought Pepper X was the hottest pepper. Hmm. Well, Pepper X has been the hottest pepper for five years. But you got people that claim that. Then you have other ones that claim the Carolina Reaper was the hottest pepper until a couple months ago. When Guinness said the Pepper X is the hottest pepper in the world. And Guinness said this was the hottest pepper in the world for, for, I don't know what, eight, nine years? I don't even know how long. A long time, okay? Maybe longer than that. Yeah. Anyways, um, uh, so this is Reaper Squeezins. Yep, it is. Let's read the ingredients first. How about that? It's got this foil... Um, label on it so it's this light might not do it justice got my lightsaber out <laughs> wow even with this even with the magnifying glass my glasses in this light this is it's reflecting off the light so it says ingredients, reaper, peppers, distilled vinegar, reaper pepper powder. That's it. It's just reaper and vinegar. <laughs> A simple sauce. <coughs> now, for you guys out there, you know, you get all these people that are in these hot sauce groups and they're like, oh, look at this. I got... <laughs> a signed bottle. You know, I got Ruthless Reaper signed bottle. I'm special, right? None of you have this. This, my friends, is a one of a kind. Okay? One of a kind um, bottle signed by the creator of the pepper. None of you have this. Here it is, right here. Screenshot that. <laughs> I'm just joking. I figured some of you would get a kick out of that. Um, well, actually, I might not be joking, but anyways, don't don't get your panties in a bunch, okay? <laughs> don't get all offended so easily. All right. Reaper Squeezins. I've had this sitting on my shelf for over a year. <clears throat> I did have this sauce many years ago. Um, I have a feeling there's going to be a plug in it. Usually, these kind of sauces have a serious plug. get 
take that out. Damn it, I don't have nothing to... Sometimes you shake it enough, and then tap it down. I'm going to wake Mrs. Bokow up. She's going to freaking lose it. That ain't going to pour, is it? So here, tip it upside down without even thinking. I got some fried eggs and, and toast and whatnot here, so... Uh, let's see if we can get it. Let's see if we can get it to pour. Oh, there it goes. Look at that. Whoa, man. All over the place. All right. Reaper squeezins. World's hottest pepper for so long, supposedly. That woke me up. Oh, yeah. So the taste on it, it tastes like Reaper. It just does. Um, if you had to, <clears throat> if you ever talked about a sauce where you could taste the pepper, this is definitely one of them. The good thing is the Reaper has a <clears throat> floralness and bitterness to it, fresh, that I personally, don't get mad at me, I personally don't like. Um, I think the Primo is better for flavor. Primo's got some bitterness, a little floral too. It's a super hot, you know? <sighs> but um, the first time I ate a whole Reaper... Uh, I just didn't like it. I was like, ooh. Reminded me of a Maruga Scorpion a little bit. Um, not as bad, though. The Red Maruga Scorpion is, I think, one of the, or if not the, worst taste in fresh pepper, in my opinion. Um, with that being said, so I still got a good dollop right there. With that being said, I actually did try the sauce back in 2021 at Pucker Butt. Um, <clears throat> I mean, like I said, I didn't like the Reaper Fresh. I tried fermenting straight Reaper one time. <clears throat> um, the mash was so bitter. And I made a sauce out of it. And the sauce... it. It tasted like I was biting into an aspirin. It was that bitter. I had to toss it. Um, so I kind of had... And that was just an experiment. Okay? But kind of had this bad vibe about the Reaper uh, back then. But I tried this down a pucker butt back in 21. And me and my wife ended up... Uh, we liked it. We, you know, we didn't love it like... Some of the other sauces we had down, like the gator sauce stuff, was real good. The chocolate plague. But we liked it good enough, you know, to buy a, um, a bottle of it. Um, I don't see as many people talking about this sauce online anymore. Um, I think it kind of had a, you know, it had a strong run. <clears throat> for a while, but uh, definitely helping me right now, it's definitely got a nice lip burn going, uh, throat burn is pretty steady, uh, mouth burn is there, so definitely a hot one, uh, I would say this sauce would probably be, I mean, I don't know, it's just an everyday um, table sauce, I'm, I'm not sure uh, how I would you could eat it on anything. It's pretty neutral because it don't have nothing in it. It's just peppers.
However, I think it would be good on wings. I think it would just be a good, like, suicide wing sauce. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's hot. Now, the flavor is not bad. Um, I do give Ed Curry credit on <coughs> a sauce that has that much of it in it. And it doesn't have that, that stinging bitterness to it. Or even like the floral carryover. Um, there's a little bit of them. A little bit of that Reaper carryover there. Uh, but not like... I've had some straight Maruga Scorpion sauces. Where they have a funkiness to them. And it's like that floral doesn't fully come out of it. Made into a sauce. Now dried it does. Dried you, you get a little bitter but not floral. Uh, but yeah. Really hot sauce right here. Um, so if you're looking for something for wings, uh, something like that, um, you know, say you're going to have like a little wing competition and you don't want extracts, but you want something that's stupid hot. Um, this would probably be a go-to sauce for that. I love the label, the artwork, and then see how it's shining. It's on this really super shiny foil. I've had a lot of sauces on foil. This one is extra blingy, y'all. So, the old Reaper Squeezins, Talk About Pepper Company, signed by the creator of the pepper. You already know. Um, but, yeah. Once called the world's hottest pepper for a very long time. Is it a hot one? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I've had Reapers that I would say uh, would probably test at 800,000 Scoville units. I've had Reapers that I think would test at 1.7 million. Um, it's just wide, wide range of, on the SHU. It's crazy how uh, unstable that pepper is. But, um, but overall, good sauce. Um, stupid hot. Not my, not my favorite flavor, but it's not bad, okay? You see, I'm eating it. But I think it's going to help me out on my cold. So keep me in your prayers. Once again, smash that like button. And um, if you're not a subscriber, hit the subscriber button. Uncle Bokal freaking loves you. What?